this is amazing. These gloves. Look, so I've just bought a new jacket, a new rucker jacket, top of the line. But it's uh, with the jacket and the gloves, and you get this little cuff on the inside of the jacket cuff, if that makes sense. It's like a two layer cuff. It just, it's just perfect. Look at that. Awesome. is Sunday the 1st of March 2020 and uh, we've got a, we've, I found a day I found a day in the last few weeks where there's no rain so I'm going to come out and uh, just go for a ride and clear my head sometimes it's just good to do that just to get out jump on your bike just clear your head I'm very impressed with this rucker jacket. Uh, I'm sorry I can't remember the which model it is. All I know is that it is the top, the top of the line model. Uh, something like Ivana or Naverna. Oh, look at this uh, Lamborghini. Look nice. Yeah, so all I know is that this this uh, rocket jacket is top of the line and it's got the thermal lining on the inside which is a separate jacket which is pretty great I've worn, worn it to death actually in the last couple of weeks but this is the first day I've actually worn the, the bike jacket on my bike and uh, it's cosy it's 8 degrees outside um, you know it feels like 8 degrees um, but it's uh, the jacket is keeping the cold out really really well uh, so two things that I'm, well it's more than two things, but two things I can think of right now that I'm really impressed with with this jacket. And that would be the, the collar piece. So once you zip the jacket up, your velcro around the neck like any ordinary jacket. But I find I'm a big guy, I've got a big neck, and I find that on normal jackets that velcro just, it, there's not enough. There's not enough length on it and I can't, it, it comes undone, all I've got to do is just turn my head at a nice degree to look over my shoulder and the velcro comes undone and that's on BMW jackets and um, what other jackets have I had in the past uh, Revit jackets, that was an old Revit to be fair um, whereas this has got a massive big long well you, you, you've got the bit with velcro that goes around the neck that's not coming undone, I can tell you, you can just tell when you put it on but then there's another bit which is detachable but I left it on because it's cold and um, those, of, those of you who have got rocket jackets, you know what I'm talking about. It's, a, it's like a scarf which is attached to the jacket and then once you've got the jacket up, you just, just flip it round. It's got two or three pieces of Velcro, I think it's three. Um, and you can't miss, it just goes round and it just fits perfectly to the contour of your chin and your neck. It's like you don't need a buff. So right now I am wearing a buff or a bandana as a as I've just learnt the Americans call them. I thought a bandana just goes on your head, but like Axel Rose bandana. But, it, but this is a bandana that goes around your neck, the buff, it's like a stretchy material, keeps your neck nice and warm. Um, and then I've got the the collar, like the scarf bit of the rocket jacket on top of that, and it's uh, 
it's so cozy I've got no wind getting up here at all I've got you know I'm not even getting any cold drafts coming up to my nose so I'm hoping the sound actually is actually going to be better because um, there's no wind coming into the into the, my lid helmet we call them lid I call them a lid um, it's not coming up into my lid whatsoever so hopefully this is going to be really really good audio um, the second thing I'm really really impressed with this jacket it's the the cuffs so I'm on about the the bits here so, so I'm not going to show you whilst I'm riding but you've got your cuff which goes over the glove and then you've got another cuff which sits nice and snug to your skin it's stretchy so if you're wearing a watch or bracelets or something it's, it's not going to cause you any irritation it's like a, rather than being like elastic leading edge it's, it's, like, it's like elasticated sock if you like but it's not as tight as a sock and it just sits really really nicely against the, the skin which your glove goes over really really easily um, whereas um, you now I've struggled loads of times where you can't quite get the glove over properly but it, it's effortless you just you just pull the glove over that over that part of the uh, the cuff and then the outer cuff which you can see with the zip on it goes over the top and it's just so easy I don't I didn't even have to unzip that part of my cuff to do all that, that that's pretty cool uh, so I've never seen that on any other jackets before I'm not saying it's not around but it's just super super quality right so there's a back protector in this jacket as well which okay that's nothing new um, but there's also a chest protector which right so the chest protector oh, sorry a bit of late notice there I didn't know where I was going the chest protector is um, it's part of the jacket and you think to yourself well how can you have a chest protector going across your chest when you've got a zip down the middle so as you throw the jacket on you notice that there's um, you notice that there's a uh, a great big piece of that 3DO, or is it, 3, or is it D3O or 3OD? You know what I'm on about. It's that, it's that, it's that spongy protective stuff where it. Uh, you know, I, I've actually tested and trialed this twice. It, it works. It's nice and soft. It's comfortable. It shapes the contour of your body. But as soon as it, as it, as soon as it experiences impact, it hardens up and and uh, you know, provides the protection you need in, in case of an impact. So, um, but the way it's fitted is it's already fitted to one side of the jacket. So as you throw the jacket on, you then just pull it around and put it across your chest, zip it to the other side of the jacket, and um, zip it up. So there's no join in the middle. It's not like it's not like a, a chest protector of two halves. It's one big chest chest plate but it's really really easy and simple it sounds like a lot of faffing around but somehow the guys at Rucker have just made it so easy everything just locks together perfectly I'd like to say if you're interested in one of these jackets and you're looking at changing and you haven't heard of Rucker um, I've been introduced to Rucker through my own customers so I get customers coming to my workshop every week and 80% of them they're, they're all completely uh, dressed in Rucker let's go left here yeah they're completely garnished in Rucker and uh, I think when I first saw it I saw the R and I thought oh I didn't know Reebok made uh, clothing for because the, <laughs> their logo looks like the Reebok logo but um, yeah but they're, obviously they're all bang on about it it is an expensive jacket now however I have just bought mine I have paid a pretty good price for it and I am also I'm not going to say I, I've, I've signed a deal or anything because I haven't but I am talking to the guys who are bringing the stuff into the country so there's a possibility I might be able to do something for you if you are interested in anything Rucker if you are leave a comment down below or drop me a direct a direct email and um, I'll put my email address at the bottom and uh, I'll see what I can do
that's exactly how it has happened by that woman there. <laughs> So if you're ever down this neck of the woods, unfortunately he's closed on a on a Sunday, but this place is a great place to come to. Idle talk. See that? So inside there, it's not very big, but he's got some really cool clothing. Like really cool stuff. So his name's Jack. Um, and you can find him at Idle Talk. That's I-D-L-E Talk. Not T A L K, it's T O R Q U E, as in engine talk. So idletalk.com. He frequently holds, like nearly every week, get social gatherings down here. You can see he's got, um, it looks like an old, a wheel of a tractor or something where he's got a fire pit there. But he's out here cooking, and also in the summer, what he does, he gets. Um, in the summer, he, he they've actually got a Merlin engine off um, a Spitfire, off a Spitfire, which they um, they start up, which is pretty cool. It's a uh, it's, it's like on a great big trailer that they wheel out. I don't know where where that where it is. It's, it's around here somewhere, and they pull that out especially. So on that note, um, might as well just rev up and roll off again because they're closed. Which I think is a bit crazy. Here, look how this glove goes on. Ah, this is what I was trying to show you. So if I, I don't need to zip, unzip that, but if I, if I unzip this and show you, you can see there's the cup I was on about. It just, that, that will sit over any watch or any bracelets you've got. And so as you put your glove on over the top, if I peel that off, and then that just tucks inside. Like, I didn't even try and push that. It just goes in really, really well. That's like that. That's like that. And I, I can do that without even unzipping it, which I think is pretty cool. I'll do it this side. It's not unzipped. Here's this is the test. This is where it all goes wrong. Like that. Let's pull this over the top. Now, if I look under there, I can tell you now. I know you can't see, but it's just slid right underneath there. It's perfect. Up. Right, okay, let's rev up and roar off. Rev up and roar off. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely says no entry down there, but some people just can't read.
this looks like a new road, never been on it before. 